so now I understand uh, both the product side and also the user side, uh, but what are some of the fears that our customers could have in terms of uh, a, a transitioning to uh, a solution from zero north and how do we help uh, them all overcome that fear and, uh, and really sort of feel confident that, uh, that it will be a, a successful uh, uh, yeah, a way into using a zero north as a platform. So, so when I look at Zero Knot, I would say one of the differentiating point we have is that we originate from a shipping company, from a shipping business. Mm -hmm. So, so the system was developed by the operators mm -hmm. for the operators. Mm -hmm. uh, where we said, what would an operator need on daily basis? Mm -hmm. would, which of the processes needs to be streamlined? And how can how can the new digital solutions and algorithms and machine learning AI can help an operator? So we have kept that in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, then along the way, in last four years, uh, I can safely say that we are the company who has the best shipping knowledge behind mm -hmm. uh, the digital solution. So it's not only software developers or data scientists or AI experts. It is actually hardcore shipping knowledge and we have the shipping expertise within uh, the organization mm -hmm. to help our customers along with digital solutions. Yeah. That is one thing. Then another thing is that this is a long process which has to start even before our customers or users start using the product. Yeah. Uh, because you as a, as a sales executive, mm -hmm. you go and then when you try to uh, present it to a prospective customer. Yeah. Uh, there's so many times that you and me have sat together and say, okay, how would it fit in into a customer's um, business yeah. dynamics? Yeah. How would we go and help it? So we look at the customer's uh, shipping business, what kind of ships they are operating, are they operators, owners, technical managers, and, and try to present them with a solution which we think at that stage will fit into their yeah. uh, Way of working. Workflows yeah. or way of working yeah. or, or to, to achieve for them, help them to achieve their targets. Yeah. Then the next stage is once they put the pen to the paper, mm -hmm. uh, then we have a dedicated onboarding team. Mm -hmm. Onboarding team, they are working across uh, with, with different types of customers. Yeah. So they gather a lot of knowledge saying uh, how a particular customer has implemented mm -hmm. uh, the solutions mm -hmm. and then they use this knowledge to advise our other customers. Onboarding team is also supplemented by subject matter experts mm -hmm. uh, who, who uh, most of them have is a shipping background themselves. Yeah, uh, they, they come from either sailing background or they've been operators or technical managers. So they, they know the problems uh, from yeah. their own work experience. Yeah. And then they will then continuously talk to uh, customers to not only uh, bring them on board to the digital solution, but mm -hmm. also help them in creating new SOPs mm -hmm. and in creating new processes. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a very solid um, way of making uh, the documentation for the users. Yeah, uh, making user manuals or user guides or or. Uh, uh, videos explaining how we do our yeah so so that's what we do through the onboarding process yeah. which is we, we run it as, a, as an actual project yeah uh, where we bring in different expertise at different stages yeah so i guess there is an element of maybe called like a technical integration that's one side of onboarding we want to make sure that the, that our solution sort of integrates mm -hmm. into the uh, voyage management software of the company uh, and then there is more the a user adaptation, which is more around training and user manuals and these kind of things. And we have a very structured approach to take our customers through that onboarding process. Exactly. And, and then it has to be taken stepwise uh, when it comes to training. Mm -hmm. we, you, uh, we do introductory trainings, uh, then we uh, take it one step ahead and say, okay, now you have a user-based training. Uh, then we agree with the customers on the cadence of that training, mm -hmm. depending on their needs and then uh, uh, where the teams are situated, yeah. each time zones. Yeah. Um, and uh, then we have also now with our um, established customers, we have also agreed uh, on, on doing more uh, course-based training as mm -hmm. well. 
And I guess it's very tailored to the, even though we do have standards and the project that we go through, it's very tailored to the individual shipping company. Also in terms of how much would they like our professional services team to play a role in their daily operations? How much would they like to rely solely on the platform and do all the optimizations themselves? And that also tailors, I guess, the onboarding project yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, we have had examples where customers, uh, they were definitely not comfortable in the mm-hmm. start and then mm-hmm. didn't find that, okay, we can do it single-handedly. Yeah. So we brought in our professional services team, which yeah. are all like shipping people. Yeah. So they helped our customers saying, okay, for the first six months, yeah. we will be sitting there holding their hands, doing it for them yeah. almost. Yeah. Uh, for the and then a training is ongoing uh, in parallel. Yeah. And and once the customer feels comfortable and says, okay, now we know enough and, yeah. and we are comfortable in doing it ourselves, yeah. then we pull back a little and let the, uh, the users uh, use it on a daily basis. Yeah. So it is very, very uh, customizable yeah. uh, way of uh, working yeah. we have. Uh, with the one aim in the end that the customers should actually make use of the digital solutions absolutely uh, yeah. to, to draw yeah. out the benefits but i guess that's also a point a point in the change management process that uh, for uh, the customers uh, needing that or wanting that we do sort of fully uh, hold them in their hand uh, uh, with that uh, professional services team before they are ready to maybe uh, 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 sort of use the platform uh, more independently or more uh, more on their own. Uh, so that's, I guess, something that we do also to to sort of bring down the barrier of change ma- management uh, to give them the comfort that that uh, all ships will be sailing uh, at all times.